If you can't take the bombing, if you can't take the fear anymore, you come here. It's horrible, but it is better than dying. It's not squalor, but it's miserable cold, and there is no future. Just a tent if you're lucky. Many are not. New arrivals wait days at a time as aid agencies look for room. Stuck in the back of a truck, this ten-strong family has no choice but to wait for help. It's not enough. We get chilled every night and we, we have no work. And our kids, they cannot work and we have no money to eat, mm -hmm. to buy food. So we, so we have no other choice just to come to the camp. Mm -hmm. This is what people are running away from. Cities and towns across Syria slowly dying. The countries surrounding Syria are in danger of being overwhelmed by the sheer weight of refugees who've decided to leave two years after the start of this uprising. Along the border with Turkey, they know they're safe. NATO Patriot missiles now provide a protective shield. But like all refugee camps, conditions are harsh. There's over 160,000 registered refugees in neighboring Turkey, but the actual numbers of people who've left their homes in Turkey, in Lebanon and in Jordan is still unknown. We know though that in Syria itself the numbers of internally displaced is growing by the day. In this camp it's gone from 7,000 people to 11,000 people in just a matter of days. And the reason for that is that the government is now using Scud missiles and more jets attacking from the skies. That's why people are leaving their homes to come to this. Um Abdullah Najia is here with her children. Seven live in this tent. They aren't complaining, it's just rough. Five months they've been here, it could be years. Food is basic and strictly controlled for the resident families. The little ones come and pick it up. They take the spaghetti and tomato stew home to their tents. Every part of society is now affected by this. Hamid Najpar defected from Air Force Intelligence four months ago. Turkey won't let him in, but he's been here ever since. He's hoping, though, it won't be much longer. Army supplies, he says, are running out. يعني أنا أحد أحد المرات عم بطلب مازوت للآليات اللي عنا قالوا استخدموا استخدموا الاحتياط الحربي الاحتياط الحربي لمدة ست شهور هاد هلا صلي أربع شهور يعني ما ضل عنده شهر شهر ونص احتياطي حربي هيك توقعاتي أنا. But huge numbers don't believe the end is even remotely in sight, so the exodus goes on, and as was predicted, one way or another, the whole region is now caught up in this crisis. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Syria.